he had this beautiful way of expressing how incredible God is and, and to really focus that this is a, a true, genuine relationship. It's not this just going to church, singing songs and tithing, and it's, it, it's, it's far more than that. It's the thrill of obedience and just being able to We all have a book that I think that either means a lot to us or that it could be, could actually be our favorite book. Um, Tom, what, what book did you bring? Wild at Heart by Mr. Eldridge. And this one, oh man, this is an older book actually. I'm trying to remember how long ago this was. So he's done a lot of different books and I'm actually looking forward to, I just got the one with him and his son. But this is an important book to me because it kind of put me a little bit on the path of what I kind of really desire. And it, it changed something from what society told me was important to kind of more what masculinity could mean in a Christian sense. And so I'm really happy to kind of explore that and what that means in the Christian, the Christian sense. And yeah, this is, that's probably wh why this book means as much as it does to me, just because it started me on that journey. Okay. And Nathan, what do you have? So uh, my book is called The Alabaster Cross. It's by um, Richard Exley. It's a fiction novel about a... Uh, the char main character's name is Brian Whittaker. He grows up in a, a missionary family. His dad and mom are missionaries, and they go to uh, like the Amazon rainforest, and they're they're doing um, you know ministry outreach to all the you know the First Nations, like the Am Amazon tribes, right? Especially the ones that uh, um, had had no exposure with the outside world. And so when Brian was young. His dad took a trip um, from the mission compound where they were in the Amazon rainforest, and he went to see one of these First Nations groups that hadn't had a lot of exposure to him, uh, like to Christianity, right? So uh, he goes on this trip, and his dad never comes back. So fast forwarding to his late 20s, he is haunted by his dad leaving. Um, and, and not having any answers, like it, nothing comes back, like there is no answers, right? So he goes from the States um, over to back to the Amazon on a trek to either try to find his dad or try and find, you know, what happened to his dad, right? So the uh, story, I, I really like the story because it's a, I think it actually, it reflects a lot of my own personal journey. I've, you know, been searching after the Lord on and off for, for years. And it's just been in the last, I would say six months to a year that I've really been on a journey of my own to seek him. And, you know, so the character, the care, I can relate a lot to the character. Um, it's a fantastic book. The author has put out other works like it and, uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend it to anybody. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Um, and mine would be Crazy Love by Francis Chan with, uh, Dene Yankowski. And I think I read this book back in, this is the 10th anniversary edition. Uh, it's revised and updated, but I remember reading this the first time back in 2008. And I think Francis just has a really gift with words. And he really, he had this beautiful way of expressing how incredible God is and, and to really focus that this is a, a true, genuine relationship. It's not this just going to church, singing songs and tithing. And it's, it, it's, it's far more than that. It's the thrill of obedience and just being able to fall madly in love with God. And, and when, you're in, when you're wildly in love with someone, it, it just changes everything. And, and it really opened my eyes to not just follow God, but to just wildly, wildly fall in love with Him. And it, it totally changes your life. And I, I've seen the change in my own life. So this probably is one of my favorite ones I've ever read and uh, it's still uh, still a good one and uh, but yeah thanks for sharing these books guys <music>